Hello YouTube, it's Tony. Welcome to episode 2 of my PVM to Max Cash series. So, in the previous episode, I left off where I got 28 million GP. Now, I was gonna save for Dragon Rider Lands, but I saw one of those comments and they said that you could just buy a Ripper Claw instead. Oh yeah, you know what's funny? A Trim Amulet of Fury is actually cheaper than a regular one, which... I got this for 800k, while this one... It has two more stats than this. I don't understand why it's it's more expensive than this, but hey, I'll take that anyways. Yeah, I don't think I need the Plate Body of Trials anymore because now I already got Power Armor for both combat styles. I'm still waiting for this offer to fill for the Skeletal Armor, which probably is going to take a while though. Nice, I just bought myself the Ripper Claw, so gonna do some God Wars Dungeon 1 soon. I mean, God Wars Dungeon 2. Not God was one. <laughs> okay, so I just got my first kill for Hellweir, but it didn't go so smooth. I mean, I was really struggling with the keybinds. Yeah, I just keep dying to this, so I'm probably just gonna have to buy myself a scrimshaw vampirism. All right, let's see. How much is this gonna buy for? Okay, 2.8 mil, not bad, not bad. Oh my god, personal record, 2 minutes. Yeah, not the best to be honest, but still. I'll take that. Yeah, honestly, I'm not really comfortable with Duel with Millie because I don't fully know their rotations. I mean, I kind of do, but it's just... Sometimes I really mess up, especially with the prayer flicking on this part, like... The reason I brought a, I bought myself a Scrimshaw of Ambrism is because my keybinds weren't really suited for prayer flicking. Like right now, oh shoot, like see? I just couldn't time my res, I mean... And another Reaper task complete. And I forgot to tell you this, but I only completed 3 Reaper tasks on this account. Which is actually pretty crazy though, eh? Nice, finally a kill under 1 minute. In my opinion, I would say this is easier than how weird. There we go, finally I got my Skeletal Armor set. Yeah, it took a while for me to buy this. You know what's funny? I didn't realize that I could afford Drygors all along ever since the start of this episode. Look at that. They only cost you 21 million for the Drygor Longsword, and the Rapier cost 10 million, while the Mace cost you only 9.9 .9 million. Like, how is this possible? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they're all the same thing, but... I'm just gonna put one offer in and hopefully it will buy instantly. And yep, there we go. Nice, I got my personal kill record with a dry gore. Yeah, this accuracy increase actually does help a lot then. Oh wow, I just got a Dragon Rider Lance. A uh, 46 and I got this big pogger. Oh my god, nice. Personal record of 140. Ooh, one, another 137. Another personal record at 137. Nice. Damn, nice. 128 personal record. Okay, so I'm just gonna start using this lance that I got from Vindicta. Hopefully we can get faster, more consistent kill times with that. So I just logged in right now and I was able to buy myself full Bandos. Well, all the pieces that is, because I had a couple of pieces, offer for a couple of pieces that did fill last night. But look at that, the price is so, the price is so cheap for this. I didn't know there were only 3.8 million for that. Nice, there we go. Just got myself Precise 3 Equilibrium 2, which actually is better than Precise 5 by itself. Also, I do have a lot of these sealed Dragon Riders, which I got from Killing Vindicta, obviously. Not sure what to turn it into because I have 2.5k on Saren, 2.5k on Sliski, and 150 only on this, and 2.5k on Zeros. Just gonna use this on this guy and let's see how much we get from this. Yep, and then all the Zeros. Wow. 3,500 for this, not bad. Since I'm gonna be milling in milli distance a lot, I decided to make myself some armor spikes. Yo, another personal record. 
120 for this. I wonder what's the fastest Vindicta kill with dual wield setup. Maybe it's like under 40 seconds or something, I guess. I'm gonna do one full hour of this and let's see how much profit I can make off of this. Now, I'm using Supreme Brawler Aura as well as Scrimshaw Vampirism and I have a 75% drop increase. Oh my goodness! Nice! I'm definitely gonna add that to my collection log. This is my first time ever getting this drop, yo. So this is what we get from 1 hour Vindicta without uniques. Only 3.4 mil, but I did die once, so that kind of deducted 300k here. Now if I were to add this in, it's only going to be 3.6 million. So honestly, Vindicta is okay profit per hour if you don't get the uniques. But yeah, if you do get lands, then it will definitely increase the profit per hour. Nice! 115 personal record with this Berserker Aura, nice. Yeah, I mean, Berserker Aura does give me like 10 second faster kills, but other than that, it's not really all that useful at Vindicta in my opinion. Are you serious? 7.9k? Yo, this is- look at the value of this. 7.9k. For this. Oh my god, another stone spirit drop. Are you kidding me? Another stone spirit drop. Holy Jesus, this is crap. Alright, so just before I end this video, this is my loot tab for this particular episode. And let's see how many Vindicta kills I have. Let's see, that is 251 in total, and let's price check this thing. Yeah, that's only 29 million, which is barely more than how much I had previous episode. I mean, yeah, I had to buy some upgrades, but even then. I'm starting to think Vindicta is kind of a loss unless you get uniques like the Lance or something, or even the Crest. I kind of feel like I wasted time doing Vindicta, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, it was pretty fun though. So while I was editing my video, I forgot to show you the difference between 2H and dual wield. I'm just going to show you briefly. Well, for 2H and dual wield both, I, I use slaughter as well as blood tendrils. And then I pretty much go barrel him down to 110k HP before I do Zerk. Now in this case, the difference is that with 2H, you get 5 thresholds instead of 4 thresholds. Actually, I was slightly wrong because... I only used 2H at the start when I when I wasn't perfect at dual wield melee, but let me tell you this. If you have a dry if you even get a dry core plus any offhand weapon, then you can pretty much do more DPS than a lance, because for a lance itself, you only get tier 80 damage, but with tier 90 accuracy. Alright, so I wasn't able to sell everything. Well, these stone spirits are just really, really cheap. But we end off with 29 million GP almost 30 million GP after I bought these upgrades which was a dry gore as well as Bandos armor. I'm gonna do how we are next episode hopefully and probably Grigorovich as well. With that being said, thank you for watching and I hope I see you next episode.